is going on youtube hope you guys are all having a great day so far so today we're here to talk about the montreal canadians as they're going to be facing the nashville predators tomorrow at the bell center is going to be the homage for pk Subban. so it's going to be a pretty good a pretty cool night uh, and yeah the canadians made some moves this morning and you know yesterday they sent back anthony richard to the level rocket good decision because he wasn't used uh, properly, and uh, yeah, it wasn't working well. I don't think that Anthony Richard is a fit for the NHL. I think that he's a good AHL player. He's better than most players in the AHL, but he's not good enough for the NHL. And I've made a video talking about this. It's sad. Uh, uh, he might have wanted to get a better opportunity, but when you're an offensive player, not talented enough to get in front of the guys on the top six, this is what happens, and it happened to Daniel Carr, it happened to Charles Ludon, it happened to a lot of uh, guys throughout the NHL, and yeah, that's just sad, and uh, yeah, I hope that the NHL will change one day, and I hope that um, bottom lines will get more offensive roles at some point um, in NHL history. So yeah, Canadian yesterday sent back Richard, and they made up a call this morning, they called up Jesse Ilanen, a Habs prospect who got drafted in the second round, 35th overall in the 2018 NHL entry draft. The guy has a lot of talent, a lot of potential. He is a shooting threat on a power play, has a decent slap shot. Um, he's now 23. He's six foot 190 pounds. Um, he's kind of a big guy also. So uh, yeah, he is um a player that can help the Canadians in my opinion he is better for the NHL than Anthony Richard just because he has a better hockey mind a better hockey IQ and that's what's the most important in the National Hockey League you can have an amazing shot amazing hands be fast all of that if you can't follow the play with your head you won't be able to perform well in the National Hockey League this is the first thing you need if you have the hockey IQ but everything else is mid you're going to be better off in the NHL than those players in the AHL with all that talent. And Jesse Lennon has a shot. He has hands. He's big and he has the key mind. So definitely a good move by the Canadians by calling him back. Uh, I've made multiple videos this year talking about the fact that the Canadians should call him back at some point. Right now, he has 27 points in 34 games with the Laval Rocket, which is really, really good um, for uh, Jesse and then judging by the fact that the Laval Rocket have been struggling this year he has 8 goals, 19 assists uh, he's a minus 4 16 minutes of penalties so uh, yeah and he did really good last season when the Canadians called him back um, he played 9 games um, 14 games my bad, 14 games last year for the Canadians and he got 5 points so yeah Really, really good uh, call back for the Canadians. I think that he can be most, most u more useful than a lot of players in uh, the team right now, like Pizzetta. I think that Hiranen is way, way better than Pizzetta. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the Canadians will use him. I think that he would be capable of uh, getting top six ice time as long as he doesn't get in front of your eyes of Koski. I'm fine with it. Uh, second power play time, that's for sure, because that guy has a ripper of a shot. He can one time the puck in the back of the net, that's for sure. And he did it last year for the Canadians. So uh, what can you ask more out of a player uh, like Jesse Ilanen? So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see. Will he be able to finally make the jump and stay with the Canadians, that would be amazing, honestly, because I think that he's there in his career and he needs to take the opportunity. He needs to hit the next step. That may be one of his last uh, decent shot at making the NHL uh, for this year because there's a lot of prospects that are going to come. Uh, you have guys like Joshua Hua, Sean Farrell, Philip Machar, all of those guys that are going to be coming. Owen Beck, uh, in the next couple of years out of the out of junior hockey. And if he doesn't take his opportunity right now to get in front of veterans, he will get over speed by those young guys that are going to be coming with the Lava Rocket, with the Canadians in the next couple of years. So might be one of his latest chance to make the team. And I think that he's going to, I think he's going to do fine. I think he's going to be impressing a lot of people. And I really like Jesse Lennon as a player overall. So uh, definitely happy with this. And I think it's a good move for the Canadians. Definitely an upgrade on Pizzetta. Definitely an upgrade on Anthony Richard. Even though Anthony Richard has better skills overall, his hockey mind is what's lacking 
in his play to play in the National Hockey League. And Jesse Elanen has it. So it's going to be certainly interesting to see in the next couple of games. I hope he plays against the Nashville Predators. That would be nice to watch. So yeah, it's been your boy Tropical Habs. Let me know what you guys all think about this in the comments below. And I'll see y'all later for another video. Have a nice rest of your day. I'll see y'all uh, later tomorrow, probably for another video. And yeah, subscribe, leave a like. Bye-bye. <laughs>